Uh, there's a lot of talk in the communications world and marketing world about uh, CX, meaning customer experience. Uh, sometimes in the hospitality world, that's also called guest experience, which I guess would be GX. Uh, and of course, digital signage, we like to say, is a very important part of making a modern guest experience, well, more modern and uh, easier and uh, better all the way around. We're going to talk about uh, different ways that that's true, not just in hotels, but other aspects of the hospitality market as well. To help me today, I am joined by Dave Leo, Region Manager for North Central. Hi, Dave. Hey, good morning, Derek. How are you? I'm doing well, man. How about yourself? Excited to talk about uh, hospitality. Absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, it's fun. Everybody likes going to a nice hotel, a fun conference center, a casino, right? It's exciting. A theme park for adults. <laughs> there you go. Yes. I'd like to thank everybody for listening to this episode of Digital Signage Done Right. I'd like to remind you that you can subscribe to this podcast and you can follow along with a full transcript on the Visix website. That is visix.com slash resources slash podcasts. Whether you're using digital signage or not, our podcast gives you practical tips for communications and content to better engage your audience. I'm Derek DeWitt. Welcome to Digital Signage Done Right. Digital signage seems like a pretty natural uh, extension of what... uh, hotels and other hospitality venues were always doing in, in my mind. It is. I mean, these facilities, you know, from, from the first step, when you walk in as a visitor or a guest, you need information. Um, you're, you're there for a purpose, either it's for uh, the night stay at a hotel or for a meeting or a conference or to gamble. So you need information and you need it pretty quickly. You typically, when you walk into one of these buildings, it's, I need info. Hospitality you know, venues have been doing this for years, posting information on the old you know, printed poster boards or the little letter boards. And they've gravitated towards digital signage uh, because the medium is just has so many other benefits versus printed and manual you know, event boards like, like the past. Yeah, that's for sure. I mean, I always think of the, that first thing when you walk into a, a place, let's, let's say a hotel, but again, like you said, it could be a conference center, it could be a, a spa, it could be all, all sorts of different kinds of things. You walk up to one of these uh, digital signs, let's say, and if it doesn't have the information very obviously or easily accessible, I'm just going to go find somebody who works there and ask them. You know, so that's the first and foremost thing is you got to you're kind of trying to take the burden off of your staff so that the the stranger or more uh, specific requests that aren't so general can be uh, dealt with in a in a more uh, efficient way by staff. They can give a more individualized service. Yeah, exactly. Unless it's the Ritz and they know your name as soon as you step out of your vehicle and can tell you every information from a one-to-one human perspective, the vast majority of other hospitality places, you know, that's that's a challenge is how do we get the, the relevant, immediate information to our, our visitors and guests in an effective way? It's a, it's very important for, for all these venues to do that. Yeah, it's interesting you bring up something like the Ritz. That's kind of true. A, a technology like this and communications uh, techniques like this sort of allow non-Ritz facilities to give a Ritz-like experience. I mean, you know, we've talked a lot uh, in the past about democratizing communications. That's a a great way, I think, to even a a Best Western, and I'm not dogging on Best Western, but even they can give that level of service. Absolutely. And that's one of the notes I jotted down prior to our meeting is the ability to customize the display for that individual guest experience. I mean, there's nothing like seeing your name on a TV. When you walk in and it says, Welcome, Derek. Enjoy your stay. How good do you feel that they they knew your name? They spelled it right. It's on the time that you arrived. And yes, that that type of power and with digital signage is now available for the smallest of Best Westerns and Holiday Inns and you know this littlest convention center that I have in 
Wichita, Kansas. That Ritz personalized experience can go anywhere and any organization can have the power of, of that personalization. Yeah, that, that's true. Uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, some of the different things that you can use digital signs for in a hospitality environment. Obviously, welcome messages, that's, that's a, a, an obvious one. What else? Yeah, the first that comes to mind for me is wayfinding. And I'm not even talking the large facilities. I, I live in little Cody, Wyoming. It's a tiny little pen on the map. And even here in our Holiday Inn, they have a little conference center. And there's probably a, a dozen boardrooms and meeting spaces and ballrooms. And the first thing that visitors do when they walk in is ask, where do I go? So they have a, a big event board, a 50-inch digital sign that shows all of the events of the day, where the rooms are located, and even directional arrows that show them how to get to that particular room. It's critical, regardless of the size the facility is, navigating people to find where they want to go quickly so they're not frustrated, lost, confused. I mean, it could negate the experience of that guest really quick if they don't have fast information on where to go. And I should think like for a a small place, uh, maybe just uh, static maps would be enough for some place that's a little bigger, especially if there are multiple uh, structures and buildings. Uh, I would imagine just uh, putting up some interactive wayfinding with touch screens and uh, kiosks and the like would uh, make even more sense. Absolutely. Yeah. The larger the facility, the the greater the need for interactivity and mapped wayfinding. Uh, on a one floor facility, my Holiday Inn example, they probably don't need a touch screen to navigate people. People understand it's one floor and they can they can kind of find their way. But yeah, the, the larger the building, if we can touch and find a room and get navigated from this floor to that floor, either by a lined pathway on the digital map or get a text turn by turn directions on my phone that I can take with me. Man, that is awesome. That's going to save me maybe hours of walking around. If you're, you know, talking like a Vegas hotel or conference center. Boy, that's for sure. You ever, you ever try and walk through the uh, MGM grand to get to the monorail. You're like, I've been walking for an hour. That's it. That's it. (laughs) And of course, like you said, sometimes uh, like in a hotel, obviously sometimes people are there for uh, uh, an overnight stay or a few nights stay while they, uh, sightsee or conduct business or what have you but they may also be in that hotel for uh something else for a conference meetings or other kind of an event and that of course extends out of the hotel realm into places like uh, conference centers where that's that's what they do i would imagine that sort of um, syncing everything up with uh, event schedules would also make a certain amount of sense That's probably the number one um, priority for hospitality and using digital sign. I I think it's paramount. You've got to look at the the core issue they have with with getting event information distributed and updated regularly because their events and their meetings and their guests and they change hourly. And they typically are not staffed with a team of people to manage that, that, that information change on, let's just say, paper signs. So a common thing is, yeah, to put paper signs outside of meeting spaces that some poor soul has to print out every morning and then they have to reprint when they change and they have new meetings or the meeting changed and the time has been altered. So it is quite the challenge for a minimal staff to update paper signage where if we can turn those into digital, now all those 5, 10, 50 meeting ballroom spaces have all digital signs and It requires zero human interaction that we've integrated with their event management systems like Microsoft Exchange, EMS, CollegeNet, Google Calendar. The list is endless of all these third-party calendar systems that digital signage like Visix can integrate with and automate those event updates on the room signs, the kiosks, the digital signs. That to me is the number one advantage of going with digital signage for hospitality. Sure. Yeah, that makes absolutely sense because you're going to enter that information in that spreadsheet anyway. So uh, better that it just uh, boom and it changes everywhere that it needs to change. Yes. Automation. You also, a lot of uh, spaces, even conference centers, again, uh, they 
don't just have meeting spaces and, and places for events. Uh, you know, they've got uh, on-site facilities. You might have uh, uh, restaurants. You might have retail establishments. Uh, uh, larger hotels might have uh, also cafes, uh, restaurants, sometimes several restaurants, a hair cutter, a spa, you know, all these things. Yeah, and absolutely. And, and more often than not, if if it's all tied into one reservation system you know that's kind of the head end is where is all this data being input and how can we grab that data so typically the event calendar system or the reservation system may all go to one place and even if not that you know software platforms for digital signage can extract that data and then present it on the spa screen or even the the fitness area you know i've i've got you know some hotels that do digital signage in their fitness areas with information about you know health and fitness and and guest information as well i was even thinking of a, a rec center that i'm using that rents out their tennis courts and basketball courts and they have the live information up there who has those spaces reserved and for what times and which ones are available. It's pretty diverse, not just showing event information. We can show a variety of live updated reservation data, stats, you name it, and really automating again and eliminating the, the human need and, and the printing need. Right, for sure. And that extends to, I mean, that can get as granular as you like. Like I've been in some hotels that uh, they even have, for example, bicycles available that uh, are free, free to use is that you just have to reserve them. So, you know, especially if you can walk up, you don't want to stand in that same queue because you got people checking out, you got people checking in, who knows how long it's going to take. I want to get a bike, I want to go. Go up to the screen, tap, 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 tap. Here's my room number and I'm good to go. That's it, man. Should be that easy. Yeah, it's almost like a, a term that we've used in the past is virtual concierge, which uh, like, hey, look, I don't mean to take away concierge work from humans, but uh, a lot of the sort of piddly stuff that concierges have to deal with can be sort of outsourced to the digital signage platform. And then that concierge can instead do things like, yeah, I'm going to try and find that Broadway ticket for my guest who wants to get in to see Hamilton, even though it's been sold out for nine months. Who knows? Maybe I'll be successful if I have the time to to work on that. Yeah. And I, I think some hospitality organizations struggle with, do we want to replace the human interaction? I don't think it's replacing. It's just meeting the demand of their visitors. I mean, you can blame Apple for that by putting a smartphone in everybody's hand, and we're used to immediate information and touching screens and doing things ourselves. We're more sophisticated, educated with technology, and sometimes the humans don't have the answer and can't be as quick as us touching a screen and getting digital information. So having that balance, not replacing the concierge necessarily, but supplementing it with quicker means and, and to adapt with what your visitors want, which is fast info. Yeah, that's very true. My wife and I were watching a, a film the other day that was uh, set some decades ago, and it was it was a situation where there's a guy at a hotel, and he says, I need to make a long-distance call. And um, the operator says, okay, it'll take about a half an hour, and then I'll call you back with the call. And I'm like, yeah, that's right. That's how that used to be. And if you did that today, people would flip out. There's no way we would stand for that. Right, exactly. Times have changed. Yes, information needs to be immediate. Yeah, yeah. Now, of course, you can not only publish to the digital signs themselves, you can actually extend it out. Like you said, you could, uh, for wayfinding, you can actually use a QR code or or even get text turn-by-turn uh, -turn, uh, directions sent to your mobile device. Uh, but you can also send information out to uh, intranets, web pages. I mean, you're not just updating people who are physically on site. People who aren't there can also have up-to-date information. Correct. Yeah. I mean, Visix has a wonderful tool that allows that distribution of content, of scheduled content to a variety of endpoints, you know, monitors, touchscreens, video walls, room signs, and even the desktop and phone. Anybody with a browser should be able to see this content today. So to have the right platform that, that gives you that scalability, that limitless possibilities of distributing your content to the broadest possible audience, um, it gives you a lot of potential for, for communication and really getting that message out to everywhere. And again, I think another aspect of the um, sort of uh, giving that rich experience to the to the uh 
non-Ritz uh, locations is because I could see somebody thinking, oh, God, I got to have like a server room. It's got to be air conditioned and, you know, blah. No, because you don't even need to host this stuff locally. You can just stick it in the cloud and uh, it'll be hosted remotely. So all you need is an Internet connection, which as a hospitality venue, you have. <laughs> yeah, I sure hope so. You're going to have a lot of frustrated guests, but yes. Unless it's one of these like get away from the world retreats, you know. Right. Yeah. Unless you're glamping out in the woods somewhere, you probably don't want Wi-Fi. But yes, most modern facilities with the internet and Wi-Fi, you're, you hit the nail on the head. I mean, it's uh, it, it's so easy to deploy this technology now. This is not 15-year-old digital signage where they needed hardware and a server and a team to manage it. No. I mean, honestly, you may not even need a single person on their staff to deploy this now. It's, it's that simple. We put it in the server on the cloud. The CMS is all hosted. Their users log in from a web page from anywhere. They could be on the beach. They could be on their couch at, at the facility. And then, yeah, the devices, the media players are just connected to their internet, either Wi-Fi or a hardwired Ethernet connection. And there you go. You've got content. So the deployment is much faster. Managing the software, updating it, it is so much easier in the cloud these days. And with security that has increased significantly with cloud providers, that is not an issue. We've got deployments in federal government and hospitals and very secure, hardened clients that need top-level security. And they're doing our cloud hosting because it is secure. Speaking of security, uh, one thing that is useful for people there on the ground is, you know, every once in a while, yeah, something goes amiss. There's a fire, there's an earthquake, there's a, a bizarre storm, you know, which seemed to be happening uh, more and more frequently. Uh, you know, who the heck knows what? Uh, so you can take over the whole system instantaneously and put up alert messaging. Yeah, honestly, that is almost a requirement nowadays in, in hospitality, it, it, and it kind of should be. It's it's almost a public service that you've got these displays, these digital signs showing information that they should be able to turn in an instant to show relevant information about how to save lives and how to inform people of, you know, maybe just the blizzard or the incoming storm so they don't get wet going outside, but critical things to, to help people of where to go and what to do in a crisis. Um, and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say the elephant in the room here, mass shooter, we don't like to talk about it, but it, you know, larger the facility usually draws the, that type of an activity. And to, to get people immediate information about where to go, where to hide, where, where are police? You know, Visix does offer the, the way for the client to manually launch alerts that could be targeted by geography, by where groups of displays are at, um, by alert type, or it could be automated with third-party mass notification systems that uh, comply with the CAP protocol. CAP is Common Alerting Protocol, and that's kind of the universal standard for mass alert systems. So that is a whole discussion in itself in alerting people in public environments, and it it is very important today. So that's all that's all customer and guest experience, but uh, I'm also going to mention that uh, a digital scientist system also makes things a little bit easier for the back end, right? Because there are, if you choose to use them, there are uh, analytics capabilities that let you look at all sorts of different things and thus become more efficient and streamline uh, what you're putting out there. Because if, you know, if you're putting a traffic feed, let's say, and you're in New York City, maybe you don't need to put it. Maybe you find out that, that a little bit of analytics later, you're like, uh, actually, uh, less than 10% of our guests uh, actually drive here. So let's not put that information up. Let's use that real estate on the screen for something else, like, I don't know, uh, taxi wait times or something like that. Yeah, you're right. The The ability for, you know, the stakeholders of the projects, the IT management or um, let's say, you know, communications, marketing groups, the, the the people that have invested in this technology, they they want some proof. They want some proof that, hey, it's, it's working, that content is playing, that users are using it, and we can track that granularity. It, it could be 
down to the individual user and how how often Jim Smith and Susie uh, Thomas logged in and did they schedule the content they were supposed to for accountability purposes. And um, also with hospitality, we get into the, the advertising aspect of it, that they do want proof of play reporting to justify uh, expensing this to a vendor and making this a, a profit center for selling ad space on the display. So yeah, the ability to have detailed analytics and reporting and, and not only tracking users, but content playback, it's, it's very important these days. And uh, of course, I can just imagine, though, somebody saying, yeah, that sounds all pretty good, but I, I, I'm not a designer. I don't have time to sit around and create all these messages. But uh, a lot of companies, Vizix being one of them, uh, already has content subscriptions. They already have uh, uh, content kits, uh, templates, all this sort of thing that really does just it really just kind of makes it super easy. Yeah, exactly. I'll give you a quick story. Uh, again, in my little hometown here, Cody, um, we've got a little Holiday Inn that uses our product and they were using some inferior product that uh, was was custom designed and it was clunky to manage and they had to do several steps every morning just to get their event information on the screen. Well, when they turned to, to Visix, we set them up with a, with a template that was automated to pull the event information from their, their data system and to show live weather information on the screen. Well, now it requires zero human intervention. Those staff can do other things versus tweaking the display every morning and getting content looking right. They don't need to be involved in this process at all. So we've saved their time um, and the system is 100% automated. It just runs itself. They're, they don't have to upload slides and create stuff. It just runs. And uh, yeah, they've been a happy client for several years now. And that's the way we want to get clients to do. Let's make this as easy as possible for your staff and, and really automate as much content as we can to the screen. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, you can, and then there are, there are like these subscriptions you can uh, opt in on. You can have, uh, obviously you can pull in RSS feeds, you can pull in uh, news tickers, but there's also like, uh, there's like news in pictures and there's almost no end to the type of content that you can get up there that doesn't require some, you know, schmuck sitting at a computer six hours a day, finding the information, copying and pasting the text, grabbing the picture, hoping that it's, you know, not breaking copyright and, and on and on. It's, it's just done for you. Absolutely. We have so many automated subscription options for content feeds. I think there's probably 40 or 50 today Everything from news, sports, traffic, safety, health information, social media, you name it, flight information. That's a big one at these hospitality. People need to get to their, their plane, train, and bus on time. And we can we can push that information automatically to the to the screen with just a an automated feed that they subscribe to. So yeah, it's it's wonderful that content creators you know, they can take a back seat now. We've, we've got content. They, they don't need to create it. We're doing it for them. However, if you are a content creator and you are feeling particularly uh, creative, uh, feel free. You don't have to. And, and of course, there are going to be plenty of plenty of messages that are site specific or, or uh, regional specific. And that's um, because it's all sort of internet cloud based uh, and so on. Like a large chain, for example, they can have brand standards. Everything looks the way it should. You know, if we're if our colors are steel gray and blue, we don't want somebody putting up something that's pink and green. Uh, and yet we can also localize the content. The stuff in Minneapolis is relevant to that branch in Minneapolis. The stuff in Barbados is relevant to the stuff in Barbados. It doesn't really matter where a place is. The content can always be tailored for that place. Yeah, absolutely. Especially with these, let's say a large national hotel chain where they've got a brand standard. You want to walk into, you know, Anchorage and, you know, Tampa and see the same look and feel on the screen with the right logo and its aspect ratio and the same colors. Absolutely. That that same layout of that branded look of that, that digital sign can be applied everywhere. And then we just tweak it. So we just tweak the design from location from one to the next to localize it with the current weather zip code or postal code. So it's showing the right weather data and the five day widget view. And that we grant rights to that local Tampa 
uh, location where they can change this playlist of content in that block of the screen, that zone, but the other zone of the screen is playing corporate branded content. So yeah, there's a lot of flexibility to keep both corporate from you know the mothership happy and the branding and their initiatives, but also giving some local control. And then you know the software can allow that granular control where we can pull back certain features that, that only certain people have access to. So granularity and the ability to localize content is, is key when we're talking large deployments for sure. So whether you're a gigantic multinational chain or you're a little mom and pop place, it doesn't really matter because digital signage is here, it's here to stay, and it's here to help you give the best possible guest and customer experience to the people who are coming into your facility. Companies like Visix are uh, committed to uh, not only um, helping you leverage the technology that exists today, but also, you know, kind of pushing the outside of the envelope and, and seeing uh, what the future holds as well. I believe that we will see this stuff literally everywhere in the next 10 years, like even, even a gas station, <laughs> you know, like it's going to be every place. Uh, and the hospitality and hotel industries are helping lead the way in that regard. Well, uh, for our 101st episode of Digital Signage Done Right, I have been speaking with the region manager for North Central in the United States for Visix, Dave Leo, about digital signage for hotels and the hospitality market. Uh, thanks, Dave. Super interesting stuff. Uh, it kind of makes me want to go travel now. <laughs> thanks, Derek. It's been a pleasure. All right. Thank you, everybody out there, once again, for listening to this episode of Digital Signage Done Right. And once again, don't forget that you can follow along with the transcript on the Visix website. For more free stuff, head to resources on physics.com for guides, videos, and more to help with your visual communications. Please subscribe and share and contact us for information about our digital signage solutions.